Forget about the battle over illegal immigration. Did you hear about the battle brewing over the law making it illegal to cut taxes on rich Americans? It's true, and someone here says this class warfare tactic from the White House is a direct attack on what makes America great. Hi, everybody. I'm Cheryl Cassoni, and welcome to Cashin' In. Our Cashin' In crew this week, Wayne Rogers, Jonathan Honig, Tracy Burns, John Layfield's back, along with radio talk show host Mark Levine. Welcome to all of you today. Well, John, let me ask you this. Is the president playing class warfare with tax cut policy? There's no doubt about it. This president, I guess he spent a lot of his formative youth being locked in lockers by successful people because apparently since he's been out, he has declared war on success. Look, successful people is what built this country and seduced to such a great country. And you listen to the populist rhetoric coming out of this administration. If you are successful as a business or as a person, you will be fined. You can call it taxes. You can call it whatever you want. Obama wants to level the playing field, but not like we want to make the ri poor richer. He wants to make the rich poor. It is just a redistribution of wealth is all it is. Mark, let me read you a quote from Michael Goodwin over at the New York Daily News. He wrote this, the Obama administration is on war footing. Make that a class war footing. This is from March of this year. That's ridiculous. Look, the current tax code already practices class warfare. It was put in place by the Republicans. If you make 100000 a year, you may pay 40% in your total income taxes and federal and, and state and Social Security and all of that. If you make $100 million a year, you pay 16%. Right now, we currently have a massive transfer of wealth from the middle class, hardworking American citizens to only 2% of Americans who got the majority of the Bush tax cuts. It's time to make every American pay their fair share, and that includes the rich. Well, but only, but hold on, Tracy. Why that? Oh, we're talking about a law here that basically exempts everyone from pay as you go rules except for the rich. Is that not class warfare? It's all class warfare. 16%? What tax code are you looking at? The top rates are going to hit 40%. Throw in state taxes, throw in the fact that many of the deductions are going away as well. The rich are carrying the brunt. And you know what? The rich aren't really even rich these days. $200,000 a year is not rich in certain Tracy. parts of this country. No, right. no, Mark. He's coming Tell down on the people, he's coming down the on the people that came Tell over from the other side of the world to come to this great country to build companies, build businesses. The reason America is great is because we are a land of opportunity that allows us to grow and keep the money we make. Should Warren right. Buffett and, pay and, the and, same tax rate as Mark Secretary Mark Tracy. respond. And, Mark respond. I just want to know if Warren Buffett should pay the same tax rate as his secretary. It's unfair. She makes far less than he does, and she pays much higher taxes. We need to get rid of the carried and, interest and, right. and, and make sure Warren that people Buffett who make hundreds of millions of dollars pay the fair rate of tax. But maybe, Mark, it's just politics as usual at the end of the day. It's, it's tax the rich and give to the poor, redistribution of wealth in this country. Maybe that's just the, the state that we're in right now as a nation. I'll tell you something. It would really help the economy. You look at the Bush years where they've been taking all this money from all of us, 98% of Americans, and giving it all to two percent all this transfer of wealth from the middle class to the rich and what happened I'm not we lost sure, hundreds Mark, of thousands I don't even know of jobs you're about. in the Bill I, Clinton I era know. and the Mark, rich got ludicrous. richer yes. the middle class got Mark, richer and the ludicrous. poor got richer right. too Mark, and we, all right. Obama wants to do is go right. back and to the same tax rates of the Clinton years. Mark, Mark you're, and, you're and, very very simplistic view of life that all Democrats are good and all Republicans are evil it may make I'm you just feel very comfortable but it is in it is just flat wrong and that's what's wrong with politics because you, you got to be a spit bucket carrier right, and, for your party if you're going to have a, a John, talk show and, and be a politician for these guys 1.47 trillion dollars is a deficit that president obama right. ran up this no 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 year. no no bush we ran up the deficit and, 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 and if we stop it. bush why this do you want to raise 710 700 billion 2010. more stop it and the president's belief of course is that the rich whoever he wants to define who they are Oh, the poor. It's their responsibility. Ironic to me, you know, a gentleman who talks so much about minority rights, well, when you target the rich, that minority, well, that, that's okay. You know, the, the smallest yeah, minority is in the individual. People. Unless now, it stands up for them, you know, who Mark, is he standing Mark, up for? Mark, you've got to get out of the box, Mark. If someone owns a really nice house, do you know what they do? They employ people. They buy furniture. That's, they do things to that money. house. They supply jobs to this country, Mark. What You're part wrong. of that? Oh, I'm wrong. You're right. Hey, I'm the economy absolutely wrong. runs by Rich demand. Rich people come in yeah. to mow the lawn, right, Mark? That's what happens. Tracy, <laughs> if you give a ton of money to rich people, they don't spend it. Businesses are sitting what on if, wads of cash. What if they earn it? They're not spending because it. Because your demand. administration 
is making oh, them yeah. so crazy. They don't right. know what to do with their money. All right, I know, guys. But again, Mark, I, I wanted that's the, that was my point to Wayne. Though, is that small businesses? That's the that is class warfare against small businesses in this. Get ready for more bailout protests. A new report this week showing two-thirds of our states are still going deep into future debt. And guess who may have to dig them out of their hole? You, the taxpayer. Tracy State's got the lion's share of that $900 billion stimulus package, but should they get more? Well, clearly no, but they're gonna. Uh, Cheryl, $84 billion fiscal shortfall for 2011 for all our states. Illinois is the, the top of the list. You got Pennsylvania, Michigan, South Carolina. I mean, these guys are in dire straits. They're going to come marching to D.C. with their hand out. And you know what? Unfortunately, we are going to give them money. And we, the taxpayer, are going to end up bailing out states like California that are willing to spend $800,000 on a city manager in Bell, California. So that guy gets his money. But he takes it from my well, wallet. But I'll tell you what, no Mark. Sense. I'll tell you what. This week, you know, over a dozen governors all saying they want about twenty-five billion dollars, Mark. Twenty-five billion more on top of stimulus already spent to the states. Well, that's far too little. You know, I don't know when the lion's Ugh. share of nine hundred billion was forty billion. We get forty billion to the states. That's less than five percent of the stimulus package. You recall the Democrats had an initial package to give more than eighty billion, and the Republicans insisted on slashing that aid. Let's remember what causes deficits. All right, you've got structural deficits. That's caused by shoveling all that money to the rich. We talked about wars unpaid for, things like that. And you have recession-caused deficits, and that's caused by the fact that less people have money, they pay less in taxes, and states pay more out in unemployment aid. As the economy gets better, the states will need less money. But they need it now. They can't print it. Only the feds can. You know what causes deficits? Excess spending, Mark. That's what causes deficits. It worked in the 90s. Yeah. All right, but I'll tell you and what, John Layfield. Let me bring John Layfield into this because what the states are saying is that it's Medicaid, it's unemployment. They say it that's is. what's sinking their budgets. John Layfield? Yeah, that is exactly what's sinking their budget. And, Mark, I guess you get your numbers out of the sports page because they're, they're very wrong. It's $140 billion went out of stimulus, and they actually are paying them $194 billion this year. They're going to be short about $180 billion next year. Now, you have the states right now saying they're going to have to cut 500,000 jobs. It's more like one to two million jobs is what's going to have to be cut because the July 1st is the start of their fiscal year. Obama does not want that to happen before midterms. This is politically right. motivated. And you don't want to, they want to give either, these states you? money. And Instead of telling the states, balance your budget exactly. like you have to by law, Obama's willing to break that law and say, we're just going to give you money. I'll just borrow more from China. Well, John, me, you want to cut jobs it, in the middle of a recession? I want right. the states to live well, within well, their means, and if they don't have the money to hire the people, then what you're doing is you're taking money from taxpaying citizens and you're giving it to people who don't really need to have that job. Right. I mean, the states have amassed these huge, unbelievable deficits, and it's not because of the police, it's not because of the courts, it's not because of the, the proper functions of government. It's from because these, oh, lo and behold, bloated entitlement programs, the Medicare, the benefits. I mean, Mark, that's where all this money is going. The recession. Illinois and California, so, Illinois and California so, so are listed amongst the top uh, uh, credits li likely to default. It's not the police force that put them in that position. It was union and in government and education entitlements. Well, but Mark, the needless recession. to say, they so, still so got fiscal problems. So you're with me, Mark. correct? It sounds like you, you John and Jonathan and, and Wayne agree. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, but yes, you both agree <laughs> on that one. But Mark, you don't. <laughs> I, it's the recession that's causing this. Look, a recession causes less tax receipts to come in. It causes more money to go out in unemployment, welfare, and, and health benefits. Right. It and always it cost, causes, it causes deficits right. to increase. Yeah, and, I, and states have okay. to balance yeah. their budget. But you know what the more... recession does to people's households? It makes them cut back. Nobody sends money to me when Except I'm in a recession. Except for the rich, you want to give them all this Nobody money. Nobody sends money to me. I Tracy. cut back. The rich cut back. Two. Everybody cuts back then except let's end their the government. Tax breaks. The government does not ever seem to cut back. Your Keynesian notions don't work. Yeah, in fact, hey, you have states that lining up in, you have the prospect, Cheryl, as you pointed out, of states lining up in Washington with their handouts because, lo and behold, they have a great idea out of how to spend the richest money, which I know Mark is you know, well, so, so eager to put out a plan and bring it deficits. down to them. I'll tell you what, Except Wayne. Except when the money goes to the rich people. Then you love deficits. <laughs> Except when they Wait, earn it. Now that one judge ruled states basically can't enforce our nation's immigration laws, new worries that more illegals will pour in looking for work. we got to protect our people. People are coming in at night and killing Americans. 
What are we doing about it? Very Unfortunately, true. nothing. Well, let me tell you what, Mark. I mean, if you look at there's a Fox News poll out this week, and 72% of those surveys say the federal government is just not doing enough here at and all. I'll give you another survey. 81% of Americans think there should be a path to legalization, make them pay back taxes, pay a fine, and become legal citizens. I was on this show, twi show twice before. I love being on this show, and I've always flashed my Constitution. I was right then, and I'm right now. There's only a federal solution. If you don't like it, tell the Republicans in Congress, support the same bill they did in 2006. Six. All right, John Layfield, I'm going to give you the last word on this. She started us off. <laughs> Look, this is not about amnesty. This is not about work permits. That's what people uh, in America, we got to do something with these 12 million people. It is 23,000 murders. You're having decapitations. You're having bullets fired across from Mexico and the United States. There are signs in Arizona that says don't go any further to American citizens in our own country. The federal government, Republicans and Democrats, owe it to our people to secure and make our people safe, and they're not doing it. Yeah, Those murders state, are in Mexico, nice. not the United States. No, it's in no, my it's home in, state of Arizona. Phoenix actually, is the Mark. kidnapping capital of the country. Yeah. Right now because of the drug crimes. Mark Levine, thank you, sir, for coming on the show today. It's always great thank to have you. Show. All right, folks, coming up.